Let the peace of the Lord be with you, my dear friend. I remember very well the last months before my father passed away, my mother used to dress the wounds that he had in his sides. She used to dress these wounds so delicately and accurately so that they will stay clean and will enhance healing. I remember very well that once I was with my mother and I helped her to dress my father's wounds. I remember I was helping my mama in holding my father so that he won't slip. And my mother was bent on him and she was dressing his wounds. Suddenly, my mother straightened herself and looking at me said, my dear son, dear Joe, now I understand, now I truly understand what it means, what it entails to be married. Yes, now I clearly understand what it means to love unconditionally. And she turned back, she bent over my father and continued dressing the wounds. My dear friends, my mother astonished me. She left me with my mouth open. I didn't expect what she said, but reflecting on what she said, I truly admired her because she didn't study philosophy or theology or spirituality, but she succeeded in finding what truly love is. Love is to give, without expecting nothing in return, to give unconditionally. That was my mother. Yes, my dear friends, my mother, instead of grumbling, instead of complaining or moaning because of her daily duties to nurse my father, she took these challenges, these daily challenges, to grow in her understanding of what love is that is, to love without expecting nothing in return. Yes, dear friends, um, in this uh, 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time, in the Gospel we are going to read how Jesus calmed a storm on the Sea of Galilee. The apostles panicked when their boat was filled with water and they rushed to Jesus and implored him to do something. And Jesus woke up because he was seemingly asleep and asleep on a cushion. And he calmed the sea. Sometimes it happens also to us when we are passing in times of trouble, in times of financial difficulties, family difficulties, family problems or sicknesses, or even the death of a loved one. We think that God is far away from us that he doesn't care about us. But really, Jesus is always in our boat. If we don't kick him out of our boat, he remains there, ready to give us a helping hand. Yes, my dear friends, this Sunday we pray so that the Holy Spirit imbues us with his Spirit so that we can grow in this trust in this faith that Jesus is always with us. After all, we find in the scriptures that he is the Emmanuel, that is, God is with us. And St. Paul, in his letter to the Romans, says, if God is with us, who can be against us? Yes, my dear friends, God is with us and who will never leave us alone. This is my faith and this is your faith. Greetings from our Capuchin Franciscan Hermitage of Lecelle in Cortona, Italy. May God bless you and keep you in his tender embrace. I wish you all peace and good.
Bye-bye, my friends.